Hello, my name is Kyle Hershey. I am the head of marketing here at Miami Real Estate Agency. Today we're going to do a training showing how agents can participate in our brokerage. We have three ways that agents can either join our brokerage or participate in our leads. So we're going to go over that today. What I'm going to do is go ahead and do a screen share. We're going to go over the different plans so you can see which one fits you best. Then we're going to go over the training of how everything works. So let me go ahead and screen share here and we're gonna get this thing going. So first of all, I wanna go over the plans here. So you'll see that we have three plans. The first plan over here on the left is for an inside sales agent. This is a position where you're paid $12 an hour to be logged into our CRM, calling leads and qualifying them to pass off to the other agents. You're going to stay attached to each one of those leads for 5% of the commission. So $12 an hour, to be passing off leads to other agents to go run with them and go ahead and do all the legwork and you stay attached to the lead for 5%. Now on that plan, you're on an 80-20 split for your own leads and a 60-40 split if you take some of our company leads. You get free access to all of our tools, our CRM, and of course, a custom IDX website. There are no fees, no transaction fees, and no monthly fees for any of these plans. Now our partner agent plan. This is a regular agent joining our brokerage. 90-10 split, very flat, upfront, no fees, no monthly fees, no transaction fees. You get the leads that the inside sales agents are qualifying sent to you, and they're on a 70-30 split. So 90-10 split on your own deals, 70-30 split on company leads that are given to you by the inside sales agents already pre-qualified. Third way you can participate, if you're not ready to leave your brokerage yet, you can go ahead and participate as an outside referral agent. What that means is that we send you the leads that our inside sales agents qualify and you give us 40% of the commission for that. So 60, 40 split on that. And of course you don't have access to all of the tools and the custom IDX website because you're not here at the brokerage. So limited tools that you're able to access if you're not here at the brokerage. So those are the three ways that agents can participate. I'm going to go ahead and go through here and show you how each way works. That way you can figure out what works best for you. So I'm going to go ahead here uh, and log in to uh, my profile here, my test profile, and we'll go on the back end and uh, kind of explore how it works here. So I'm going to log in. Now you'll notice Company news, little pop up of you know anything that's going on here. When I logged in, I go to my dashboard. Real quick snapshot here, just to let you know, you know how many new leads did you get? How many tasks do you have to do today? How many active deals do you have? How many recruits? So that's the dashboard when you first log in. Now CRM here. I'm logged in as an inside sales agent so I can show you guys how it works from start to finish. So even if you're a partner agent or an outside agent, you need to see the whole process to see how these inside sales agents are qualifying the leads and getting them to you. So as an inside sales agent, I have two CRMs. I have my CRM, which is where all my contacts are as an agent that I'm working myself on my own time. So my CRM is your CRM to work your leads on your full split. The sales CRM is where I log in as an inside sales agent to clock hours to pass leads off to other agents. So I'm gonna go ahead and click sales CRM and log in as an inside sales agent doing a session. You'll see here, it does a pop-up. This is agreeing to the terms, uh, the fact that you're getting paid $12 an hour, you're independent contractor still, all that kind of good stuff. So each time you log in, it's gonna have you agree to those terms and conditions. And what you'll see is up here, there's ISA session activated, started 11.53 a.m. It's now tracking my time when I'm logged in. So start all the way on the left here and go through the tabs of the CRM. Here on the all the way left is the inbox. So when you log into your CRM each day, you'll be able to see all the communications, text, emails, notes from your clients that are coming in. So you can easily on this one screen, follow up and respond to all of the incoming messages you have. Now, moving on to contacts. This is where our actual contacts live. This is where we can search contacts by name, phone, email, even notes. And we can go in here and edit the contacts. Maybe we want to update an email, something like that. We can edit them. Moving on to the tasks tab. This is where tasks will show that you've set for yourself. So you'll see here, when I was talking to Maria, just as an example, I set a task for myself to follow up on 1217. So being that it's 1217 today, this task is in my tasks tab, ready for me to follow up with it. I would then wanna call them or follow up and I would go ahead and click that and it would be gone. So that is the tasks tab. So it's easy to come in here, you're on your inbox, 
you check all your messages, answer your emails, you go to your tasks tab to see what tasks and reminders you had set for yourself and complete those. And then at that point, you would go to the make calls tab and start actually dialing out. So you'll see here the make calls tab, there's lists here. We call it a lead queue. These are the different lists you have to choose from. So you'll see here, these are live leads that are coming in from our Facebook campaigns, Facebook general buyer leads, Facebook rental leads, Facebook Spanish buyer leads. Uh, this is for one of our listings. So all these leads are coming in live. So you can go ahead and pick the lead that you want, the, the lead queue that you want to go ahead and call. And that's going to go ahead and pull up the, uh, the, the lead uh, call. So I'm going to do expired listing just as an example. We're not actually going to call this client here. Now, what's going to happen is as soon as I click that, it's going to start making the call. Now, if you can see here in the corner, it's calling my phone right now. And what it's going to do is as soon as I pick up my phone, it's going to go ahead and call the client immediately from my CRM number. So everything is tracked here. And I didn't pick up my phone, so we're not calling this person. Now, see this next call button? If I spoke to this person, let's say this person didn't answer. I'm going to go ahead and click next call. It's going to go right to the next, the next uh, contact. It's going to pull up their page like this. Uh, after I talk to the person, I'm going to go ahead and click next call to move on to the call so you don't ever hang up your phone it's an auto dialer it allows you to sit there and dial so what we're going to go through here is this page this is where all the magic happens so you'll see here on the left hand side we have the contact name we have the email phone number all this kind of stuff where it came from the expired listings it's a new lead so info about the lead is over here and of course you can always click there and edit any of that info in the middle here is where all of our contact goes with the client. So you'll see here, we have the ability to take notes while we're on the phone with them. We're gonna click create note. It's gonna put that note down here. We can send them an email right here. Notice it has the client's name. It has my footer. You just type in your email, click send and it sends. And that email is going to pop up down here as well. I can send a text from right here easily click send text. That text is going to pop up down here. I can click call and make a call. That call is going to pop up down here. So we're creating this chronological timeline of all the contact that any agent has had with this client, whether it's the inside sales agent or a partner agent or an outside agent, so that we can all see what's going on here, the notes, the calls, the text, the emails, so we can be on the same page. You'll see over here the call script on the right hand side. This is a dynamic call script. It pops in their name. If it's a buyer that you're calling, it would be a buyer call script. If it's an expired listing like this, it would be a, a call script to try to get them to list their home with us, all that kind of good stuff. Up here is where you add those tasks. So remember we went to that tasks tab. So this is where I would actually add a task for that client. I would say, okay, Kathleen, I need to follow up you know, next month, whatever it may be, whatever she said and then write my comment of what I'm supposed to do and click save and you'll see it pops up that task. Now when I go into my tasks tab on January 6th, it's going to be popped up right there. So I know I have to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to click that and it's going to disappear. So that's how you complete the tasks. Now, this is what we need to do on each call. So each call, our main goal here is to fill out this property search and this mortgage info. This is how we're going to create actionable items here. So when you're on the phone as an inside sales agent, you wanna make sure to get the city that they're looking for, that they're interested in, the house type, condo, home, you know, whatever that may be, the minimum price, the maximum price. So we're setting their price range, how many bedrooms, how many bath, is it residential, is it commercial, et cetera, et cetera. So once we fill that out and we press approve lead to send it to another agent, it's going to kick off a property search automatically. So every morning, this client is going to start receiving an email from the agent it was assigned to. So the partner agent that it was assigned to is going to automatically send them emails every morning with any new listings fitting that criteria that go up on the MLS. So if it's a seller, obviously that won't happen. So for example, this is an expired listing. So it wouldn't do that. Obviously this would be for buyers, but if I was talking to a buyer, I'd fill all that information out and then they would start getting emails from the agent that it was assigned to. The other thing here is mortgage info. This is what we want to try to get as well, especially since we're dealing with buyers, they're not going to be able to buy anything unless they're pre-qualified. So that's the number one goal along with sending them property searches to see what's out there we wanna make sure that we can qualify them for what's out there. So we fill out FICO score, 
Is it a primary, secondary investment home, single family or condo, number of units, income type? Is it going to be W-2? Are they self-employed? Um, you know, and citizenship, are they U.S. citizen or foreign national? And are they a veteran or not? So that's the email that we need to get them out of loan. So what's going to happen is if you fill that information out, it's going to send that lead to a loan officer so that they can start following up with them to get them pre-qualified. So the two things we want to do is fill out that property search. So the agent starts sending them emails and we want to fill out that mortgage info. So the loan officer starts sending them information about getting pre-qualified. Once we are ready, well, we want to take notes too, right? So even though we know what they're looking for here, we fill this out, maybe they're looking for a pool. Maybe they want it uh, has to be waterfront, you know, any notes like that. Are they motivated, very motivated? So we want to fill out this info, but also take notes on what's going on. And those notes will be here because what's going to happen is the partner agent or the outside agent is going to get a text message with a link. It's going to say, you have a new lead, please contact them. They're going to click that link. It's going to pull up this exact page and it looks good on mobile as well. You can pull it up right on your phone. So they get a text, they pull up this page. This is all the info they have. So as an inside sales agent, we want to make sure that we fill out all the info. We also want to make sure we take good notes because this agent is going to be contacting this client as soon as possible and they need to know what you were talking about. There's nothing worse than talking to people at a company or a salesperson and having to go over the same thing again with the next person you talk to. So the point of the inside sales agent is to get all that info, but take good notes so that the realtor that's contacting them afterwards knows everything already and doesn't have to go through it with them again and annoy the client for having to go through the same process twice. So we want to make sure that we take good notes and fill out the property search and the mortgage info so we can kick off those two actions to actually get a sale done here. So once we've spoken to the client, once we filled out the property search and the mortgage info and taken any notes that we need to, we're going to go ahead and get ready to send it to another realtor. So that's when we're going to click approve lead. Now you'll see here it drops down a drop down with all these different groups. So this is where you're actually assigning it to a group that's going to send it to the correct agent. So if it's a renter in Broward that speaks English, that's what we want to select. It's going to go to a realtor that speaks English that wants leads in Broward, that does rentals, et cetera, et cetera. Miami-Dade seller, Spanish. That's going to go to one of our agents that deals with sellers that speak Spanish. Orlando, et cetera. These are for listings, right? So you would send it to there and that would send to the listing agent. So we're going to go to the appropriate group and we're going to say whether they need financing or not and whether they're English speaking or Spanish speaking for financing. That's going to go to an English speaking loan officer or a Spanish speaking loan officer. Then we're going to click submit. Now what's going to happen is that is going to go to the appropriate agent. A text and an email is going to be sent to the agent immediately and you'll see it right here as well. It's going to show that it was texted to this agent. Then when that agent clicks the link, it's going to pull up right to this page. So they have all the information to go ahead and help the client out. That is the actual CRM part. So that is the sales CRM. I'm going to go ahead and stop my session. So now that I'm done today, I'm going to go ahead and click stop session. That's going to log me out. So I stop clocking hours. What I want to show you now is my CRM. You'll notice it's the same. So for the leads that I'm working as an agent, and this is for partner agents as well. So this is what a partner agent CRM would look like. You have your inbox, contacts, tasks, and you also have the make calls tab. So as a partner agent or an inside sales agent, if you want more leads than we're providing you, you can go ahead and come into the make calls time uh, tab anytime and call as many leads as you would like. When you call a lead in our system, they're assigned to you. So if you're an inside sales agent and you want to do your own leads on your own split, you can log into the my, my CRM anytime and make calls. You're not gonna get paid hourly for making those calls because you're on your full split with those. Those are yours to work as an agent. Same thing with the partner agent. We send you a lot of leads. If you don't wanna wait or you wanna drum up more leads or put some work in, you can always come into your CRM, click make calls and call these leads on your full split as well, obviously with the uh, lead split. So I'm going to move on here. That's the CRM tab. I'm up here on the top going through the tabs here. Deals. This is where our transaction 
uh, management comes in. So this is where you can upload your listings, your offers, attach all of your documents. You can send uh, e-sign requests and everything right through here. That way everything is automated. So everything's on the back end. Everything our broker needs to approve the transaction quickly, it automatically sends the approval to the broker, all that kind of good stuff. And then when it's time to get paid out, we can just click a button and pay you immediately because all of the information is in that deals tab. So that is where we do our transaction management here all in house. The team tab, most real estate brokerages do a revenue share of some kind with different levels. We are just like that. We do that as well, but we are separated by something that we do that's unique, which is track this all automatically. So you can revenue share six levels deep with us by recruiting agents. You click your team tab, you all have a unique link here. This is your link to join agents up. If somebody joins with that link, they're automatically instantly put into your downline and they're instantly put into your team here. So you'll see Nick is my the person who recruited me. So he's in my upline, I can see that. But I can also see Jill, who I recruited. I can see Lee, who she recruited, so on and so forth, six levels down. It's automatically tracking this all the time. So you don't have to worry about, did I sign up this person? Did they not? Is this person active? What are they doing? It's all right here. So that is what is unique with us, we're actually tracking this all in real time. So you can see who you're recruiting, what your team's doing and what's going on. Moving on to the earnings tab. This is a great tab. This is where we get paid, right? So right now, of course, my profile is an inside sales agent. So I'm gonna show you how the inside sales agents get paid. We pay out the inside sales agents on the 1st and the 16th of every month through uh, Stripe, our third party payment processor that does an auto deposit into your account. You'll see here, this is a transaction that was posted. It's just a test, obviously. It says I worked 0.35 hours during this pay period, which equals $4.20. It says the type as an ISA earning. If this was a commission, it would show up there as well, but it would say commission. So all of your money is here in the earnings tab. You'll see it says unpaid. I haven't paid myself yet because uh, this was a test, and then hours. So this is essentially our time card here. So this is where you can track the hours you were actually logged into our system working. Now you'll notice it says minutes logged. That's how long I was logged in. You'll see here though, minutes worked, 31. I was not active during 11 minutes of this time. So it took away 11 minutes. If you are not actively calling, texting, emailing, if you're pausing, if you walk off and don't do anything, the system, knows that you're not doing anything for a couple minutes and is going to go ahead and subtract that time. It also shows the text calls and emails that you did during that time. So if you logged in five hours and only made 10 calls uh, and a couple emails, obviously there's a problem. So everything is tracked uh, here on the back end. We had an agent previously try to kind of, uh, I guess, circumvent the system and try to just uh, log in and sit there. And obviously he was not paid for those hours. You're paid for the hours you're working, not the hours that you're logged in. It's all automatically tracked here. Everything is above the board. You can see exactly what you did. Everything is being tracked. Now, get paid. This is where you actually get paid. So when you first come on board, one of the first things you should do is click this get paid tab and connect your account. So that's going to sign you up for Stripe. It's going to collect all your information so it can do auto deposits into your account and it collects the information for your 1099s at the end of the year. So it's super easy for everyone. They do all the payouts to you. They do the 1099 at the end of the year, it makes it much more simple for you and for us as well. So I would do that uh, sooner than later because it takes a couple of days to connect. So if you wait until you have money to be paid out to connect your bank account, it's going to take extra time to get that money. So I'd recommend doing that as soon as possible. The support tab. This is great. So these are the founders of our brokerage here. This is our team. And this is our support tab where you can contact us. So Sean Greco, Greco, our broker, over 15 years of experience. Nick Hershey, our CEO, technical. He does all of the website programming. He built all these tools. Tyler Stiglage is our attorney, in-house attorney to help our agents and our brokers with legal issues. And of course, myself, who does the marketing and training side of things, you'll see our contact info is down here at the bottom. And you can also schedule a Zoom with us right here. We have this button. We have certain dates blocked off and times where if you need a personal Zoom, something like this, you can go ahead and say, hey, I need to get with Nick. I need to do a Zoom with him. He's available this day, this time. I'm going to go ahead and schedule that. So we're always here to help. Our contact info is right there and you can schedule a Zoom with us. So that's the support tab. We're always here to support. Nice diverse group of, of founders here at the brokerage, kind of bringing a unique uh, spin to real estate brokerages here. Moving on to the trainings tab. This is where we put up different videos 
uh, for trainings for our agents. So every Tuesday here at Miami Real Estate Agency at 10 a.m., we do a Zoom meeting uh, with all the agents. This is where we make announcements, we do updates, we do some trainings, get feedback from the agents and they can ask questions. So we do that every Tuesday at 10 a.m. We film those and put them on the back end here in case you can't make it to the meeting. You can always go back here and watch them. The video's a little slow to upload, but you get the point. And moving on here to CRM. These are our CRM training. So when we make an update to the CRM, we make a video and we put it back here. CRM trainings are back here, all that kind of good stuff. ISA tab here, obviously inside sales agents, uh, videos here, more training, more in-depth training, stuff like that. Documents tab, this is where we keep documents that our uh, realtors need, such as our W-9, the title, uh, escrow form, uh, also the paperwork uh, and, and licensed pictures as well, guys. So keep in mind that you can't use unlicensed pictures even on social media. So you wanna make sure that any of the pictures you're posting on Instagram, Facebook, any of the advertisements you're posting are licensed. So we have some folders back here of licensed pictures, licensed ads that we've already made for you. So you don't have to worry about that. So there's things like that on the back end here on documents. Now equipment, this is equipment training. So here at Miami Real Estate Agency, we do free Matterport 3D tour, as well as free drone footage for all of our agents listings. Now how that works is the first time we do it, we come out, we do it for you, we show you how it's done. Then after that, for your second listing and every time after that, you can go ahead and come and check out the equipment from our Midtown Miami uh, office training center. You can go ahead and come check out the equipment and use it anytime that you would like. And we have the videos back here. So if you don't remember how to do it or you need more training on how to do it, we have the actual Matterport trainings, the drone trainings and all that kind of stuff on the back end here. Now webinars, this is some of the webinars we've done. Wanted to put them back here, some great info. Events, this is where events will be. We're very big on events, but obviously not right now because of COVID, so this will come back. Then other, this is just trainings that we feel our agents should watch, the matrix trainings, a lot of Miami Realtor board trainings and stuff like that. And that's basically it here for these tabs at the top. Now what I'm gonna do is show you how the IDX website works. So another thing that you wanna do when you first get your login, aside from clicking that get paid tab and connecting your bank account, one of the other first things here is the my profile. So you're gonna click in that top right and click my profile. This is where you're gonna fill out all your info that's gonna display on your IDX website. So you're gonna go ahead and put all this info in. You're gonna put a little bio, could be a paragraph or two, a little bit about yourself, and you wanna upload your picture. Then you want to click the social and put all your social media in here as well. Because what's going to happen is this is all the info that's showing up on your IDX website. I'm going to go ahead and pull up an example. I'll pull up Nick's website as an example. You'll see here, nickhershey.miamirealestate.agency. This is his custom IDX website. And you'll see here that all of the IDX is in here from the Miami MLS as well as the Orlando MLS. So all of the listings are in here and they're all giving you uh, keywords and all that kind of stuff. So all unique pages that you'll have here, hundreds of thousands of unique pages on your website, your first name, last name, top name, real estate dot agency. So we got all kinds of cool stuff here, all the listings, everyone is a unique page for SEO for you. You'll see here up in the top right hand corner, it's Nick's website, so it's his picture, his email, his phone number. This is a cool feature we have, guys. It's an instant video chat. So if I click that, Nick's going to get a text message saying a client wants to video chat with you. If he clicks the link in that text message, it's going to immediately pop up a video chat, whether they're on iPhone, Android, laptop, tablet. It's going to pop in an automatic video chat that's good, that's good for not only talking to clients, but it's good for virtual open houses and all kinds of stuff like that. Now, if I scroll to the bottom here of the website, you'll notice this is Nick's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. This is his license number. This is his email contact information and all that. Now, if anyone signs up as a lead through this website, it's going to automatically go into Nick's uh, CRM so that he can then contact them. Now, if an agent joins on Nick's site, they're gonna automatically go under Nick. So it's his custom website, great listings, everything is customized to him. And if any leads sign up or agents sign up or anything like that, they're gonna automatically go to Nick. So that is the custom IDX website you guys all get, the inside agents and the partner agents. Obviously outside agents, since they're not on our brokers, don't get that free IDX website. Now. Last thing I'm gonna go over again is I'm gonna pull up the plans. 
Just want to make sure everyone's on the same page. Now that you see how it all works, we're going to go ahead and pull up the plans. So once again, inside sales agents on an 80-20 commission split for your own deals, on a 60-40 commission split for leads, you have the option to log in, get paid $12 an hour plus 5%, of the commission that comes from those leads that you're passing off to other agents. You get all the tools and the IDX website. Our partner agents, regular agents joining our brokerage, 90-10 split on your own deals, 70-30 split on the company leads that we are sending you that the inside sales agents have already qualified for you. You get all of the tools and of course the IDX website. Now, outside referral agents. If you're not ready to leave your brokerage, you don't wanna leave your brokerage yet, maybe you wanna test it out, outside referral agent, 40% split on the lead, so 60% to you, 40% to our brokerage, and you get text, you got sent a text and an email with the link to the lead, you then contact the lead through our system, and when you close a deal, you send 40% to our brokerage. You do not get the IDX website or some of the tools, obviously you don't get the make calls tab and, a, and the deals tab, a couple tabs on there that an outside sales agent doesn't receive. They don't get the full CRM unless they are here at the brokerage. And again, outside agents, if you want seller leads, if you want more leads, you would join as a partner agent. With outside agents, uh, we don't give you as many leads as the partner agents and we don't give you seller leads because we have to keep the listings at our brokerage. So those are the three ways that you can participate. If you guys have any questions, let me know. You, most of you have my cell phone or my email. If not, you can email me at kyle at miamirealestate.agency. I hope to work with you guys soon and we will see you when you join.